Welcome to the Private Equity Exchange, the only summit bridging the gaps between limited partners, private equity funds, corporate executives, and entrepreneurs. With over a thousand delegates, the Private Equity Exchange is the only venue where LPs, private equity firms, corporate executives, and entrepreneurs meet. Before the events, using our internet platform, schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with delegates that matter most to you, and exchange far more than business cards at your deal meetings at the Private Equity Exchange. Gather great market insight with over 120 speakers and six tracks to choose from. The Private Equity Exchange, the largest private equity event in Europe for CEOs, funds, and LPs. You are looking at venture capital, serial entrepreneurs, emerging technologies. Introducing um, we we do ventures of any kind and any color and we don't want to be capital, we just want to be venture and maybe we want to be kryptonite in some shape. Um, yeah, I'm more than 33, I have one kid, three, I have one, one, I have one wife and three kids and 44 startups. I only have one public stock since I know how much strange th how many strange things are going on in, in small companies. I would never dare to have a big company stock with more than 2,000 people in it. Um, and, and all we do is, is risk. And of course, that's mean how to how to to, to do what we do, and, and we don't claim to have a big insight. Basically, I'm a, I'm a marketeer, and uh, I've been doing sales and consulting all my life. Uh, and um, yeah, to show you how how we became famous at first, I think it's it's more appropriate to. To show you how we've been, what we've been breaking the, the market in in various ways with with advertising and and attention. But I got the company to ten million dollar revenue now, and Draper Fisher Jurvetson from San Francisco a venture company went and helped us a little bit with funding and, and put some credibility on it. Um, basically, at Loom Kinner, we we try to add value. We put in technology insights, marketing, and branding. Recruiting and, and customer and partner introductions and, and, and strategy and strategy and strategy planning and we also have access to capital and 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 we don't want to be anything but what we know about. Um, we have started companies. I mean, we've started forty or fifty companies, but most interesting is Seco, which we launched uh, two months ago. It's um, it's commission free stock trading in the U.S. It uh, created quite a splash when it opened, and and still gets a, a lot of traction. It's, it's a very interesting company. Also, we have uh, we've invested in Polar Rose. You're going to see quite if you're in, really into tech, you're going to see this company all over the next year. Or so it's uh, it's a new way of search. It's really really interesting. Um, we're into SIP. It's mobile backup. It's also exploding right now. We're we've. We've also been helping a very interesting biotech startup. It's called Ariza. They have a gene modified plant that can actually detect if there's a landmine. So if you put this, if you um, put the, the seed on on the ground and, and there is a landmine, the seed will become red and not green. It's it's simply a fantastic company. And we're really proud to be part of that. We have Maxton, the biggest Chinese browser, also a company I founded with a Chinese guy who who did it, and, and we took in some capital. And, and we're not not 65 million dollars now. It's 72 or 73 million. And we take Charles River uh, venture partners in from from the valley as well. Um, and we I've started from the scratch. Spleek, which is a chat robot. It's a 21 year old girl from New York. She's AI. She's artificial intelligent, and um, she gets um, 20,000 new people who add her to their buddy list in Messenger every day. And uh, we're just taking in a, a big VC in in the US as well. This is really, really crazy, and, and you guys have no chance to understand it because it's all is a teen world and it's it's exploding. They are only on Messenger. It's so weird. And yeah, uh, I was a part of Skype. I put in fifty thousand and took out quite some. And to support our own operations, we we've, we've created uh, a consulting company. We have, we've got sixty consultants who do digital uh, communication programming. We do branding and we do pure uh, consulting. Um, so, we we don't think of ourselves as investors. We 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 way more like entrepreneurs and really amateurs because, yeah, we think that it's the best way to be. 
Um, and also because we really love it. I mean, it's like a sport, and, and so, as, I, as far as I know, the only sport you get better with age. And, and, and also, we get a, it, it's, it's, it's a fun world because you cannot know. And, and this was what, um, what Cohen from, from Bessemer said when he, saw, when he saw eBay the first time. He could not believe that that was, an, that was not a business model, that they wanted to sell comic books online. Um, so the next big thing, I mean, of course, uh, some people would like me to know, but I have exactly no clue. I think it's about being ready to lose. I think it's really, really, really important. I also think it's pretty important to be able to look at risk and, and take the risk. Because everybody, I mean, this conference is about structured products and, 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 and knowing what you're doing. We, we don't have a clue about where it will end, or what, or how we can do it. We cannot, we cannot predict the yield. But we know that money matters less, and, and that's, that's a fact when we do what we do. And we know that people is everything, and we know that the vision is key. With the startups and the stuff we do, and it's very important not to mix it up with hallucination. It happens a lot for startups. And it's also important, of course, to do net, uh, to have a strong network, and, and do it in the right way, but not overdoing it. And, and technology, well, we are in technology, so it's important. But there's also great of technology, and, and we do prove in technology. We're not smart enough to do semiconductors and, and really difficult stuff. And then, if, of course, for the next big thing, time is, timing is everything. And, and I mean, it's interesting to look at Skype versus Overture. Overture did patent and list the model that, that Google is living from now. The AdWord model is an Overture patent. But, I mean, Overture, they listed in 98, they, they didn't make it, the timing was wrong. Skype was VoIP client number 800, 700, no VC wanted to help in, nobody believed in it. But the magic was there, the timing was there. And of course it's blah, blah, blah. It's, it's simple, it's not necessarily easy. It's about risk and it equals return whenever it happens. So basically, we want to stay in love. We want to, to play with these companies as long as we can. We want to, to see the explosions out there and just follow them. We cannot predict. We would never have been able to predict that the media would grow so fast. These two girls, whenever they publish a video on, 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 on their page on Google Video, they have a million users. They can't even sing. They just <laughs> have the magic somehow. And of course, it's interesting with this SOP blogging is such a high part. I mean, blogging and Web 2.0 is in, it's said all the time, so it's of course totally devalued. But SOP interest blogging, Chris Locke wrote this book called uh, The Clue Train Manifesto in 1999 and talked about Ford. He, I mean, it was interesting, he gave the example that Ford, Ford should let all their employees blog on their interest, use a couple of hours a day because then they would suddenly invent new cars and sell cars around their interests. And maybe they should have listened. I mean, it doesn't seem like Ford is doing so well. But it's, it's happening now in a lot of big companies that they let the interest groups and in, within the companies do stuff. And it's really crazy. I mean, I'm from a small local city in Denmark, so it's not that my blog is that big, but I have more, more readers on my blog than the local newspaper where I grew up. It's really, really, really weird, and I'm really not interested. So, for for our things, we, we, we focus a lot on not over strategizing. I mean, we always tell the, the, the entrepreneurs that we play with that they should never call their good friends at McKinsey or Anderson. They should always just do it simple. And we we're a lot. We're very much about hiring very fast. We don't have to fire fast, but if you want, it, if you have the feeling, you have to fire fast as well, and you have to act a lot and, and really fast and. And, and buy into it and, 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 and believe that, that you miss all the chances you don't take. On the other hand, you have to be really, really careful not to take the wrong chances. And, and also for the, the players that we, in the startups we, 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 we help, we, were very, we, we, we warn them a lot not to believe in that press will build their company. That's it's becoming a common thing for small startups especially, that if they can get mentioned somewhere, they think they make it. And what we're looking at right now is, of course, the online advertising that is exploding. We're looking at the targeting, that you can actually do it anywhere you, you want. You can pay for, and for only the performance. And we think that it's all about going against the stream to, to find the, the, those new things. If you go with the stream now and create 
Web 2.0 things that are user-driven uh, social networks, I think is not now. Um, yeah, it's all about trying really, really hard. Believing, having the self-confidence for these startups, turning doubts into wins, keeping on building networks within the networks and being way more crazy than mainstream because mainstream is not for startups, then you'll just be a follower. And of course, for, for these companies and, and everything in, in, in the real startup is about not being both knowledge and hobby and interest because it's 360. I mean, we have these three, four small guys, um, 37 signals. Is anybody here aware of 37 signals? Yeah, there's one. It's a small startup, three guys. They're not hired two more, so there are five guys. They have 250,000 subscribers to their three or four web services. It's collaboration service and, and a small to-do list, that is just online web applications. But of course, these four guys, five guys, they have to be very, very, very smart because they have to understand the accounting, the marketing, the programming, the service setup, everything. They have to be three, 360 guys. So they cannot just be hired in from the street they, they have to, to do this with the, with, the, with, the, with the heart. And of course, it's about being extremely positive and look for good people, collect them, keep collecting them. Because good people can easily create, I mean, they can take a bad idea and make it good. But the problem is bad people can easily, easily flunk a very good idea. And so from the investment part or whatever we would have to call it, I think it's important, of course, you need any startup need help from smart people, but not, as I said, take over from smart asses. And they need money, but money cannot guarantee any success. Money should come from sales, from some kind of a revenue stream, at least in, in, the, in the way we see it. Of course, you cannot do it the next uh, geek, triple giga fiber and get revenue tomorrow. But where, where we are, it's all about generating a, a, a counter and putting things over the counter or making a subscription service. So business 12x.0 is not linear. And if there was a book, I wouldn't have read it anyway. So in you, the, the, the most important thing that we say to these small startups is that they have to be very careful that they don't burn out. Because the, you cannot learn all these 360 degrees things within the 24 hours. So you have to partner up. And a lot of this, this stuff that we tell our small start, startups that they should not take in capital, they should find somebody. They should not complain that they didn't get the perfect, they didn't have money for a good program. And they should team up with a good program and give them some shares. But that's a very, very difficult one to get through. And of course, you have to remember that, man, more than seven out of 10 startup fails. And from our perspective, I mean, yeah, we're setting up in Copenhagen, Amsterdam, Tel Aviv, uh, Delhi, and, 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 and Beijing, and we also would like to have something in Rio at least to look at the girls there. Um, and remember, I have no problem. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>